What's going on guys, I'm Mark Lentanga from Techno Buffalo, and today we'll be taking a quick look at continuity for OS 10 Yosemite and iOS 8.1. Continuity is a new feature in iOS 8.1 and Yosemite, which essentially allows your iPhones, your iPad, and Mac to work together for a much better and more seamless experience. So let's see how they look in action. Late last week, Apple delivered both OS 10 Yosemite Gold Master Candidate and the iOS 8.1 beta to developers, and aside from a few design tweaks, there aren't a whole lot of changes that are apparent in either. The updates did, however, include SMS forwarding on top of other continuity features. SMS and MMS forwarding essentially allows you to send text and picture messages through the Messages app on your Mac. Say your phone is left charging in another room, you can respond to someone on your Mac without touching your iPhone, which can be pretty handy if you're always using a Mac and or iPad on a go. You can also make calls from your Mac and iPad as long as you're on the same Wi-Fi network as your iPhone. And after trying it for the past few days, everything seems to be working seamlessly. Call quality is great, and so far I haven't had a single drop call yet. It's really easy to use and just makes my life so much easier. There's also a really cool feature called Handoff, which lets you easily jump between Mac and iOS devices. You can start emailing someone on your iPhone and pick up where you left off when you sit down at your Mac. You can do the same thing with documents, reminders, contacts, and many more of Apple's stock apps. Integration between the two platforms has never been deeper, and Apple really pulls it off here. If you constantly bounce between devices in your home or on the go, Handoff makes switching a seamless and easy experience. There's also Instant Hotspot, which is new in iOS 8. If you're out of Wi-Fi range, your iPad and Mac can connect to your phone's personal hotspot when your iPhone's close by. It'll automatically show up under your Wi-Fi menu if you're on a Mac, and although we haven't seen anything specific from Apple on how they are identifying known devices for tethering, based on how the rest of the continuity works, we're guessing you need to be logged into the same iCloud account on your iPhone as you are on your Mac and or iPad. Anyways, that's it for this quick video guys, we just wanted to quickly show you guys how continuity works and performs. If you guys have any questions, just let us know in the comments down below. And as always, I'm Mark Lensenga from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you guys like what you watch, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We're also on Twitch, so make sure to check us out at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo and see us play some video games every now and then.